Hello and Assalamu Alaikum. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss jump instructions. Jump instructions are used to change the flow of instruction execution. There are two types of jump instructions, unconditional jump instructions and conditional jump instructions. Let's begin with unconditional jump instructions. These instructions are used to jump on a particular location unconditionally. That is, there is no need to satisfy any condition for the jump to take place. To understand the concept of unconditional jump instructions, let's try run this assembly language program. First instruction is move ax, 4d2. This instruction will update the contents of ax. So ax will become 0, 4, d, 2, while bx will remain 0, 0, 0, 0. Next instruction is move bx, 3, 8. So ax will remain same, that is 0, 4, d, 2, while bx will be updated to 0, 0, 3, 8. Do remember that 0x in instruction represents hexadecimal number system. Next instruction states add bh, al. It means add the contents of bh with al and store the data in bh. So it means there will be no effect on ax and ax will remain same that is 0, 4, d, 2. While bh that is 0, 0 will be added with al that is d2. So 0, 0 plus d2 will become d2. This d2 will be updated in bh. File bl will remain same. Next instruction is jump to tag 1. For jump instructions, we do not update any resistors. So both ax and bx will remain same. Now because of this instruction, we are going to jump from this instruction to tag 1. Do remember that tag 1 is a directive, so it cannot be executed. So we are going to move to the next instruction, that is move ax, 0. So this instruction is going to update the contents of ax to 0, 0, 0, 0, while bx will remain same, that is d238. The next instruction is again a directive, so we are going to ignore this and we are going to move to the next instruction. Next instruction states add ax, fff. Presently, AX contains all zeros. So, 0, 0, 0, 0 plus F, 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 F will yield in all Fs. While D2 will remain same. You can dry run task 1 and task 2 to see how well you understand the topic. Next are conditional jump instructions. In these types of instructions, the processor must check for the particular condition. If that condition is true, only then the jump takes place. Else, the normal flow of program execution is maintained. As we know, the arithmetic and logic operations set flag status. The conditional jump statements test the flags and jump if the relevant flag is set. The details of commonly used conditional jump instructions along with their respective conditions are visible on the screen. First jump is JE. JE stands for jump if equal, for which the condition zero flag must be equal to one. Next is JNE. JNE stands for jump if not equal for which the condition is 0 flag is equals 0. Next is JZ. JZ stands for jump if 0. JZ and JE both are equivalent. The next conditional jump is JNZ. JNZ stands for jump if not 0. JNZ is also equivalent to JNE. Next conditional jump instruction is JC. JC stands for jump if carry, 
for which the condition is carry flag is equals 1. Moving forward, next is J and C. J and C stands for jump if not carry and the condition for J and C is CF is equal 0. Next is JS. JS stands for jump if sign and the condition is sign flag is equals 1. The next conditional jump is J and S where J and S stands for jump if not sign. For JNS, the condition is sign flag is equal 0. Next is JO. JO stands for jump if overflow. And for this, the condition is overflow is equal 1. Similarly, next is JNO. And JNO stands for jump if not overflow. The condition for JNO is overflow flag is equal 0. Moving forward, the next conditional jump instruction is JP. JP stands for jump if parity. For this, the condition is parity flag must be equal to 1. Next is JNP. JNP stands for jump if not parity. And for JNP, the condition is parity flag must be equal to 0. Next jump is JG. JG stands for jump if greater. For JG, the condition is zero flag must be equal to zero, along with sign flag equal to overflow flag. Next conditional jump instruction is JNG. JNG stands for jump if not greater. For JNG, the condition is either zero flag equal to one or sign flag not equal to overflow flag. Next is JL. JL stands for jump if less. For JL, the condition is sign flag must not be equal to overflow flag. Next conditional jump instruction is JNL. JNL stands for jump if not less. And the condition is sign flag is equals overflow flag. Moving forward, next instruction is JA where JA stands for jump if above. For JA, both carry flag and zero flag must be equal to zero. Next is JNA. JNA stands for jump if not above. For JNA, the conditions are either carry flag equal to one or zero flag equal to one. The next commonly used conditional jump instruction is JB where JB stands for jump if below. For JB, carry flag is equals 1. And the last commonly used jump instruction is J and B. J and B stands for jump if not below. For J and B, the condition is carry flag is equals 0. Do remember that conditional jump instructions including jump if greater, jump if not greater, jump if less, and jump if not less are used for signed numbers while jump if above, jump if not above, jump if below and jump if not below are used for unsigned numbers. To understand the concept of conditional jump instructions, let's try run this assembly language program. Let's start. First instruction is move al, 2. So the value of AX will become 0, 0, 0, 2, while all remaining registers and flag will remain 0. For next instruction, move BL, 2, AX will remain same, while BX will be updated to 0, 2. As this is a move statement, so all the flags will remain same. Next is compare AL, BL. For compare statement, both the values of AX and BX will remain same. Now, compare AL, BL means subtract the values of BL from the values of AL. So 2 minus 2 is equals 0. As the answer is 0, so therefore 0 flag will be 1, while the carry flag will be 0. The next statement is JNE tag 2. JNE stands for jump if not equal. For jump instructions, all the values of registers and flags remain same. So AX will remain 2, BX will remain 2, 
zero flag will remain one and carry flag will remain zero. For the given instruction, the zero flag must be equal to zero. But in our case, the zero flag equals to one. So that's why the condition fails. So we are going to move to the next instruction. So for the next instruction, again, AX, BX and all the flags will remain same. Now for this instruction, the zero flag must be equal to one, which is true. So we are going to jump to tag number one. Do remember that we do not execute tag one because it's a directive. So we move to next instruction. Here it states add al comma zero x zero ff, which means add ff with the given values of al, which is two. So for this instruction, the value of ax will become zero 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 one, and bx will remain same. Now here, as the result is a non-zero number, so zero flag will become zero, and as carry is generated by adding ff with two, so carry flag will become one. Next instruction is jnc. So we are going to copy paste all the values. Now for this instruction to be true, the carry flag must be equal to zero. But for our case, the carry flag is equals one, due to which this instruction is ignored and we move to next instruction. So next instruction is again a jump instruction. So everything will remain same. Now for this instruction that is JC to tag three means jump if carry to tag three, the carry flag must be equal to one, which is true for the given condition. So we are going to jump from this instruction to tag three. Tag three is a directive. So we are going to move to next instruction that is move AX comma zero. So AX will be updated to zero, 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 where BX and all the register will remain same. In order to further develop our understanding, let's try run this task. In this task, the first instruction is move AL comma eight zero. So we are going to move eight zero in AX register. So for this instruction, BX and all remaining flags will be zero. The next instruction is move BL comma four. So AX will remain same while BX will be updated to four and all remaining flags will remain zero. The next instruction states that add al comma bl. So eight zero plus four will become zero zero eight four, while bx will remain same. For this instruction, as the answer achieved is a non-zero answer, so that's why zero flag will be zero. As no carry is generated, so carry flag will also be zero. As for the given instruction, the answer is 84. The binary of 84 is 1 triple zero, 0, 1 double zero. As we know that the leftmost bit of the data is considered as sign bit, which is 1. So that's why sign flag will be 1. As there is no overflow, so that's why overflow flag will be 0. Moving on. For the jump instruction, first copy and paste all the values of data and register. Once this is done, check for conditions. For jump if greater, the zero flag must be equal to zero, which is true. And sign flag and overflow flag must be equal to each other, which is fall for this instruction. So we are going to move to next instruction. Next instruction is again a jump instruction. So we are going to repeat the same data. For jump if above instruction, zero flag must be equal to zero, which is true. And carry flag must also be equal to zero. So both the conditions are true. So we are going to jump from this instruction to tag two. As we know that tag2 is a directive, so we are going to move to next instruction, which states to move data 2, 2, 2, 2 in AX. So we are going to update AX to 2, 2, 2, 2, while BX and all registers will remain same.
You can try run task 4 to see how well you understand the topic.